اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, we are going to look into how to use ChatGPT to generate your hypothesis statement. Now again, if you do not know what hypothesis is, obviously you need to go through maybe some sessions on the channel or any book and find out what hypothesis is, what it means, what it is used for. So let's ask ChatGPT, what is hypothesis in terms of social sciences research because obviously my area is social sciences research so let's be very specific so this is what a hypothesis is a specific testable statement about the relationship between variables now let's say i'm sure about my variables i have the following variables independent is let's say servant leadership dependent is let's say project success i propose that there is a positive relationship between the two can you provide me with a hypothesis let's for now copy it because i'm going to use it for other examples and let's see what it what we get so there is your null hypothesis and here is your alternate in social sciences research we normally report the alternate hypothesis now let's change it a bit let's say i've got a mediator as well mediating variable and that is knowledge management I propose there is a positive relationship between the variables not the two variables in this case can you provide me with the hypotheses let's see what we get and we can further probe chat gpt to give us more detailed information now there is a significant impact or there is a no significant indirect relation now it's just giving me the indirect relationship the hypothesis that's it nothing else and it it is giving me some other suggestions as well you can read through it but i'd want direct hypothesis i want both direct and indirect hypothesis for the proposed variables in my model let's see what we get So here are your direct hypotheses. And here is your indirect hypothesis. Now, let's ask provide me with all possible direct and indirect hypothesis for the variables not just two because there are more hypotheses possible so let's see what we get so there is a significant direct relationship between servant leadership and project success there is a significant direct relationship between knowledge management and project success and then there is your indirect effect now obviously we do not use the word direct normally so you can skip this word there is no significant relationship there is no significant or there is a significant relationship now we normally what we do is instead of relationship we are using the word impact or influence but obviously that is important here that you can modify the results it is giving you the results just make sure that you are reading through the journals you understand how the hypotheses are presented in the journals and then simply modify these statements so let's say i've got a moderator let's change the results a bit 
let's say independent dependent mediating variable is knowledge management moderator or moderating variable is let's say organizational culture I propose that there is a positive relationship between the variables can you provide me with all the possible hypotheses the moderator moderates the relationship between IV and DV and let's see what we get press enter and here are your hypotheses Now we do not need the total effect hypothesis. We just need the direct relationships, indirect relationship and moderation relationship. Now it's giving too many hypotheses because those are the all possible hypotheses. Again, if you haven't read any journal, if you haven't read any paper as to how the hypotheses are written in a paper, you won't be able to use this chat GPT and its results in a proper manner. Now again, it re-emphasizes what I've been saying all along in my previous videos as well. That first read through the journals, through papers, through articles, manuscripts, books, in order to understand the concepts better, only then you will be able to use chat GPT in a more informed manner. Thank you very much.